Oh my god, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm making another amazing dip. Great for game time, great for parties. I don't know if anybody's ever done this before, but I'm doing it. So um, back here I have cinnamon, cumin, pepper, oregano, brown sugar, garlic, apple cider vinegar, chili powder, chipotle pepper sauce. Got corn and black beans. Borison cheese. Okay. And I'm just in the midst of shredding my chicken. And then over here, I've got some skinned tomatoes. You don't have to skin yours. I just prefer it that way. I've warmed up some queso. So this is adobo chicken dip. It's really good. So let's get started. My oven is preheating at 350. So shred your chicken. We want to shred it while it's hot. Okay, so this is all shredded. I'm just going to set that aside. And now we're going to move on to our sauce. I'm going to need a cup and a half of boiling water. If you have a processor or a whiz or whatever you call it, grab your whiz. Chili powder, half a cup. And then we're going to put our cup and a half of boiling water in there. We're just going to let it sit for a minute. Remove your lid. We're going to add two cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. going to add a pinch of pepper, a pinch of cinnamon, Maybe about a half a teaspoon of cumin, a half a, a half a tablespoon of oregano, pinch of allspice, two tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin. Take a can of your chipotle peppers. This is the sauce. Normally I get chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. But this is okay. It'll still work. So add a can of that in. Pinch of kosher salt. Mix that up. Grab your chicken that we shred up, throw it in the pan, break up any large pieces. Sometimes doing it with just two forks isn't enough. Grab your adobo. Make sure the pan that you're doing this in is uh, oven safe, or you can always switch it. Turning my oven on to about medium. Take your boys and cheese. Whichever one you like. They have like a couple different flavors. Place that in the middle and just wait for it to sort of melt. I'm gonna mix in some jalapeno. And some white onion, Spanish onion, sorry. I might add in a little bit more adobo just because I like the flavor. Okay, so after that process is done, let it sit for about two to three minutes. Time to add in 
your black beans don't need too much. In fact, I think I may have put too much black bean in. That's okay. Turn your heat down to low, like simmer. Pat it down because this is the base of our dip. On top, I'm going to put my cherry tomatoes. <laughs> Spread them out evenly. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I have my queso. Make sure your queso is warm. You can use any queso from a jar. I used a cracker barrel. Grab your queso. Throw it over. And here comes our cheese. You can use whatever type of cheese you want. I got three cheeses here. Mozzarella, cheddar, and um, marble. All right, now we're gonna stick that in the oven until our cheese is nicely melted all together. So that should take about mm, 15 minutes on 350. See when it's done. It smells really good. Okay, but it's not done. I'm gonna put it on broil high for a few minutes until it gets a little golden brown. This is what it looks like. It smells really, <laughs> really good. And I'm excited to dig in. Right down to the blue chips. All right, if you enjoyed this video, consider giving me a thumbs up. Also comment down below what dips you guys eat in your family. Okay, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.